Welcome back to Green Country Custom Baits. We've got version 3 of the Chartreuse Blueback Shad. Again, another form of yellow, another form of blue. Uh, at the After the fourth video, we're going to do a comparison to see which one catches the best fish. But anyway, just giving you guys some options out there, showing you how to be creative and change things up. The results might all be the same, but then again, you never know, right? So... Come join me. We're going to spray some paint. All right. We're back for the third and final variation. And uh, I'm looking forward to giving you guys a recap. Uh, I'm going to do one more video after this on uh, a Tamco product that I use for clear coat. I've done several, but I've switched up a little bit and tried this other. And I'm going to kind of do a review of that. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to tell you about fishing these three different variations and which ones seem to be the most attractive to our black bass Kentuckys and smallmouth that we have in the lake that I've been utilizing these patterns on. So but let's get to it. All right, different variation today. Now this one's all about the pearls, all right? All about the pearls. We're doing shiny schemes here. Mm. A little problem with the brush there. Again, I want the yellow to be a little more bold on the bottom and the sides and fade up just slightly into the shoulder so that I can fade my blue down into that area. DD-22, still a great crankbat. Norman, DD-22, and hey, I've done a video. I've done a, uh, if you want to check it out, go to LureNet, uh, go to the custom section, uh, and look for the uh, blank baits that they have, nor uh, that they're pushing out. Most of them are Norman products. Uh, might be a one uh, booyah. I've done a review up on it. Uh, uh, just go to uh, DIYs. Uh, check that out. Uh, I love getting these bodies. They got this, they got a square bill, they got a top water, and, and uh, uh, the deep little end. So, anyway, we're going to see what this blue. Now, this is kind of, I don't use this blue a whole lot. Uh, it's, I think it's going to be, going to be close to the powder blue, but it is not the same blue. That one was a Caribbean blue. And I'll just go ahead and tell you, this one is a Laguna Blue. Now, you know, we're going to see how much different it is. And so far, it's not looking a tremendous amount like it is. But, all right, we're coming back on. Had shut down. I don't know. We had a little clog or something in there. So, anyway, we're going to lay down this Laguna Blue right down the top of the bay. And then we'll do the same as we've done on the others and add a little scale. Down on the sides. Okay, so I really like this mesh. Uh, Mike sent this to me all oh, several months back, man, as a kind of a trial, and I appreciate that. Mike gave me a link to it, and and so I'll forward that on to you guys as well if you like this. Uh, this is going to be give you a, more of your circular uh, kind of scale pattern. Um, anyway, it cut me a little piece of that, and we're gonna we're gonna spray that blue. Right up there along the shoulders. We're going to keep it up there pretty high. Now, I need that to come on over. And 
you don't have to do this like I'm doing it. I just... Uh, didn't take the time to pin that down. So let's take a look at it. It's cool mesh, man. I don't know what it's made out of. I'll... Uh, I'll tell you what he told me about it. Wrote, wrote, wrote me a nice letter, man. I didn't ask him to do it. He just he just sent it to me. And so I'm gonna give him a plug here, Mark Mark Diamond. And let's see what he called this. Uh, Ripstopbytheroll.com. It is called 3.4 ounce pocket mesh. It's about four dollars seventy-five cents for a yard of it, so fairly really cheap. And my God, a yard of it go a thousand miles uh, lasts me a lifetime. Probably what he sent me. I reuse mine all the time. So anyway, that's it. I mean, he sent me a nice big old square of it, but uh, it's got a little bit of flex to it, but yet it's tight enough, and that's going to be key when I put this in my uh, my hoops. Uh, man, I'll be able to really keep that. It's not going to change form too much uh, of those. Uh, so there's our Laguna Blue. Now, we're going to go with the orange. Do one little orange on it. Got a little splattering going on. Not too clean. Man, it's good. Tell you what, I'm just painting this one made me think of something. If I left that white, I'll tell you what looked cool. I may do another variation of this uh, and give it a try. Um, do the yellows like I'm doing, leave some white and throw some of that uh, fluorescent green behind that blue. Mm. Leave a little bit of it down there at the bottom. So anyway, uh, we're going to go with our little nail technique. Go a little bit smaller now. I'm gonna put the eyes right on the front. So this one's gonna be, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go dead center. Right there. Right slightly behind the hook hanger. Dead center of where that blue met the chartreuse. Hmm. Well, when I do the comparison video, I'll uh, when I spray the Tamco on them. We'll uh, we'll look at that. That's very similar to the powder blue, but uh, it is darker. I don't know if it's a shade enough darker for it to matter to fish, but you know we're gonna find out if we find them out there in that 15 plus foot of water, uh, and this and those fish are kind of suspended in that range or just dredging this thing along them rocky banks up there in about 10 foot. Uh, we'll see if they like it. So, yeah, we gotta put some eyes on. Just use some inexpensive quarter inch stick on eyes, okay? They just come on a sheet like this, they're flat, okay? This bait doesn't have eye pockets or sockets or anything to, to place those eyes on, okay? So this is just a little thin paper, and you kind of need to stick it on the end of a exacto or something so that you can get your location where you want it. But I like. Those yellow eyes on this bait. Now the challenge is always to get them to match, right? Location wise, bam! Look at there. 
Okay, so that's that's sweet. We'll clear coat right over those eyes again. Quarter inch pack of hundred. I got these. I'll show you when I get them back in this package. This is a Jan's net craft. I mean, you can get them about anywhere, but uh, that's what I got. Quarter inch stick on eyes, chartreuse. So kind of matches the pattern. Got another set just happened to have it in my hands if we wanted to go with silver prism. Uh, but those are real handy uh, when you're uh, when you're working with these baits that don't have sockets for the 3D eyes to go in. So let me know what you think of this particular variation. Again, close to the other, but here's the kicker. All of these paints are pearls. Eight drops to two. I might have went three on the pearl line. Okay. So iridescent yellow, pearl lime for our chartreuse color, belly color, pearl orange. The only thing that isn't pearl is that back. And again, it's an old Audubon paint called Laguna Blue. Right there it is. So uh, appreciate you taking time to watch the video. I know I've been out of out of pocket for two, two or three months, man. It just happens uh <laughs> have a demanding job and it's about to pick up so not going to guarantee after these four or five that i don't have to uh step back for a little bit but i enjoy doing this and uh i hope you enjoy watching it and, and hopefully i can teach you a few things along the way that i've done and learned and it's just like these baits go experiment go try some different things so anyway big thanks to all of you that watch and we will see you next week for sure with a Tamco or a review video over these three baits. Thank you.